At six recently, we told you about more than a dozen cameras going up in the downtown Lakeland area. Promoters say it's for public safety. But in addition to the video, it turns out those same cameras are also using facial recognition software. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser digs into growing concerns about privacy. It's about keeping the district safe. Lakeland's Downtown Development Authority makes no apologies for its new surveillance network. Uh, there are 13 cameras. All 13 have facial recognition. But when the program was approved, critics say no one mentioned that in addition to storing video, the cameras would be scanning everyone using facial recognition software. It's just one step too far, yes. I guess I can see it can stop, you know, criminals and get bad guys out of, off the streets. So, I mean, I mean, I see it in both ways, but I mean, I just think, uh, you know, in the world we need to protect our privacy. The system works by loading an individual's photograph into the software. It then scans everyone that the camera sees, and if there's a match, an alert can be sent to police. The data is stored in the system for a month. You know, after 30 days, it's gone. Um, if you're not doing anything, there shouldn't be any concerns. So far, Lakeland has installed nine of these cameras. By the end of next month, they expect it to be 13, each of them armed with the facial recognition system. For now, the Lakeland Downtown Development Authority says it has only three photographs loaded into the system, trespassers and troublemakers as they describe them, but its capacity is virtually unlimited, raising questions about whether local law enforcement agencies might tap into the system with any number of images being scanned for in downtown Lakeland. If that person has a warrant for their arrest and they are a threat to public safety, why would we not allow that to be done? In some cities, law enforcement agencies have started to back away from facial recognition after misidentification led to lawsuits from bad arrests. Lakeland says the program is still in its infancy and will address issues when and if they arise. In Lakeland, Eric Lasser, 10 Tampa Bay. And Lakeland's Downtown Development Authority says so far the software has positively identified two of the three people whose photos were loaded into the system.